One time I was nervous about preaching this passage from uh, Matthew 10 where Jesus told the people, the disciples, that they were to uh, heal the sick, cast out demons, and, and raise the dead was part of it. And, I, and I, I'm thinking, oh, God, I don't really. I, this is like many, many years ago, like 95 or 96. And I only knew three to stories of anybody being ever, ever raised from the dead. Now there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. But then there's only three that I knew of. And, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm really anxious and I'm uncomfortable with the Scripture. Now, I want you to get this. This is for those of you who love the Bible, watching, and for those who sometimes accuse us of not being word-based, of being experience-based preachers. And so the, the Holy Spirit spoke to me as I'm sitting there uncomfortable with raise the dead part. And, and it basically said, you don't like that verse, do you? And I said, no, Lord, I don't like this verse. I, I like to heal the sick. I, I like to cleanse the lepers. But Lord, that we're just trying to get the people healed and you're telling us to raise the dead. It's an embarrassment. You, sh you should have left that dead raisin out. <laughs> and I was rebuked by the Holy Spirit. Listen to what he, the Holy Spirit spoke to my heart. And I believe it's consistent with the Word of God where he says, you've allowed the traditions of man to make the Word of God of none effect. And this is what he said. And pretend this is my Bible because it is in here. He said, don't you dare. It was a rebuke. Don't you dare. Lower my word to the level of your experience. Don't be afraid or ashamed to preach what the word teaches because your experience doesn't measure up to what the word says. Do not become an experience-based preacher and lower the word to the level of my experience. Preach my word, let your experience rise to my word, but don't lower my word to the level of your experience. And for the first time in my life, I actually gave the only illustrations I ever had heard of people being raised from the dead. And I found out sometime later, the young man on the electric guitar, within weeks of that, because the Lord said, no one's going to pray for the dead to be raised if they don't hear it. How's anybody going to pray in faith for the dead to be raised if they, no, nobody teaches on it? Nobody ex ex tells them what is happening. And so I told the only stories I knew. A few weeks later, the electric guitar player's little firstborn boy was hit on a tricycle by a car. And this guy had just graduated EMT, emergency medical technician. He knew what death was supposed to look like. All the signs of death are in his own son. But instead of believing it was hopeless, he began to cry out because the boy had just been hit. They called 911. Somebody else did. But he begins to remember the sermon. He begins to speak, calling his boy by his name, speaking life into his boy. And then suddenly... After nothing, after several minutes, he, he, it's like wind went into him. And, and I believe, I believe that he would not have had the courage nor even the idea to do that if somebody hadn't preached that it's possible, even today, for God to raise the dead.